Hi all, welcome to my channel 100% Concept Clear. In this video, we are going to discuss about the basic concepts of transportation problem. That is the meaning, uses, objectives and various methods used in transportation problem. First see uses. So what is the uses of transportation problem? The transportation problem is used to transport goods from one place to other place in minimum cost. So transportation problem helps the manufacturer to transport his product from one place to other place that is in minimum cost. Next see example. A car manufacturer has three plants. So a car manufacturer has three plants. Plant is the place where the manufacturer manufactures his product. At places called A, B, C. So A, B and C are the name for three plants. And his customers are located in three regions. Those are X, Y and Z. Now see, here transportation problem helps the manufacturer to determine as to how he should route his product from his plant to the marketplace. Now see here, his plants and customers are located in two different locations. So he should make his product accessible to his customers. For that, he should transport his manufactured goods to the customer's area by the way of transportation. So, transportation problem helps the manufacturer to determine as to how he should route his product. So, transportation problem helps the manufacturer to determine how he should route his product from his plant to the marketing place. That is, manufacturing area from manufacturing area to the customer's place. The next one is objective. So, all the company will have the two main objective. First one is to minimize the cost. And second one is to maximize the profit. See here, first one is so that the total cost involved in the transportation is minimized. The cost involved in transportation should be minimized. That is the first objective. Now see the second objective, maximize profit. That is to find out the maximum profit earned by the manufacturer by transporting his product from one place. That is from source manufacturing area to other place destination that is customer's area. So the manufacturer also tries to maximize the profit while transporting his goods from plant to the destination. Next see, finding maximum profit in transportation is very rare. Cost transportation of goods always involves various type of cost that is labor cost, vehicle cost, maintenance cost. So it is difficult to find profit in that case. That's why finding maximum profit in transportation problem is very rare. Always transportation problem leads to the cost only. So always finding minimum cost will be the default objective in transportation problem. Next see, this is the model of transportation problem. See here, here we have plants, that is source, that is the manufacturing area. Here we have P1, P2, P3. Here we have three manufacturing area. And here comes the destination that is region that is the customer's area so here we have r1 r2 r3 three area so the manufacturer has to transport his goods from plant to the destination so see here we have demand that is dj so here we have customer's area so these are the demand that are demanded by the customers so the customers in R1 region demanded 21 and the customers in R2 region demanded 25 and the customers in R3 region demanded 19. So see here, here we have supply SI. So this is the manufacturing area. So the P1 plant, the plant 1 can supply 20 units and P2. Plant 2 can supply 28 and plant 3 can supply 17 units likewise. And see here, here we have 65. This 65 is the total of demand and supply. That is 21 plus 25 plus 19 is equal to 65 and 20 plus 28 and 17 is 65. That is always demand and supply should be equal. 
then only the supplied units can satisfy the demand of the customers so therefore summation of ei that is supply should be equal to summation of bj demand next see here we have nine elements so if it is a minimum cost sum then it represents cost that is cost function or if it is a maximum profit sum then all these nine elements represents profit so now imagine that it is a minimum cost sum then see here seven so the manufacturer has to transport goods from plant to the region so the cost will be seven for transporting goods from plant one to region one or if we take this six then the cost will be six for transporting goods from plant one to r2 likewise all these represents the cost for transporting goods from plant to region or if we imagine that if it is a maximum profit problem then this seven represent the profit will be seven if we transport goods from plant one to region one if we take this three then the profit will be three for transporting goods from plant two to r3 likewise next see this 20 this 20 represents allocation xij so we should allocate by comparing demand and supply so that we will discuss later in detail so next is methods in transportation problem so these are the various methods that are used to solve the transportation problem so see solving of transportation problem consists of two phases first phase is initial solution that is in first phase we will obtain the initial solution and then second phase optimum solution in second phase we will obtain the optimum solution these are the three methods used to find the initial solution those are first method is northwest corner rule method that is nwcr and second one is least cost method that is lcm and then third method is vogel's approximation method that is vam vam method we can use any one method to find the initial solution and in optimum solution we have two method that is modified distribution method modi method and stepping stone method here also we can use any one of the method to find out the optimum solution so in my upcoming video i will show you how to solve the transportation problem using these five methods one by one if you have any doubt leave your doubt in the comment section and if you found this video useful like it and share with your friends and help them to understand concept easily and for more related topics subscribe to my channel thank you for watching